Previously on Crisis Center. Rick? Stephanie? You look great. So do you. He never told you about her? I think I would have remembered an ex-surgeon fiance. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. How many homes are you going to see tonight? You know I can only visit one a night. And they're not homes, Mama. They're institutions. It's going to be where Mikey's going to live. It's going to be his home. Okay, you got your coffee and your uh, paper products. You're all set for this month. Ooh. Now, because I like this place, I'm going to let you in on a little opportunity to make some extra dough. No risk. I'm only authorized to do the supplies. No, 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 no. No cash layout, just profit. I mean, a friend of mine uh, makes an extra grand a month with him. With what? Vending machine. Giants ticket. Box seats. Rick will go. He's got plans with Stephanie. Oh, so I wasn't even your first choice? That's my first choice. You can see your dad next weekend. No, I can't mm -hmm. blow him off. I haven't been home in months. <sighs> Gary, no, I have to get to my job training group. Yeah, I don't find it's not that bad. It's not that go, bad. Away. <laughs> go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah, Dr. Rick, anyway. Hey, you guys, I'm sorry I'm late. So I finally threw out the last of her things. For the first time, I feel like I have some power, some say in how my life's gonna be well good for you sounds like you've really turned a corner it's all because of you <laughs> no 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 you're the one who's done the real work here you're so smart i never met anybody like you you're my guardian angel <laughs> a beautiful angel so um good work for the session and i will see you again actually there's something else um very important that i that i wanted to say i've been thinking about this for a while okay i love you dalton it's not uncommon for clients to develop an attachment and deep feelings for their therapists this has nothing to do with you being my therapist the only relationship I can maintain with you is a professional one. You don't understand. We need each other. That's why... I want you to marry me. My name is Arturo Garcia. I seek political asylum, and I renounce my citizenship and spit on El Barbudo. Excuse me. I will not be a puppet of Fidesz. You must protect me. What's going on here? This man is a Cuban national here on a temporary visa under my supervision. I'm his manager. Hey, you're that boxer, huh? Si, sí, soy boxeador. But I will not box for anyone anymore. No, Benicio. I want to be a free American. Now what? It's Saturday. Justice and INS are closed. But we can contact an asylum lawyer first thing Monday. You're just going to have to wait till the Justice Department looks into this. You have no authority for that. Really? Why don't we continue this next week? You don't understand. Lily, I just want to hold you. What are you doing? Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I'll be fine. Just get him out of here. All right, break him. Break him. Break him. family here in the States? Alfredo, my older brother. 
He lives in Miami. He defected many years ago. And you're here on a boxing tour. See, I'm supposed to fight at the end of next week at the Cow Palace. I want freedom. I want to make my own decisions. Be my own man. Well, we'll do whatever we can. I'll Arturo. be forever indebted to you. Mi corazón has been aching for freedom for so long. I wouldn't get too excited if I were you. There's a long process ahead of you. Hey, anybody can go 12 rounds with Frankie the Hammerhead can deal with anything. <laughs> I should have knocked that cockroach out. <laughs> Almost. So you guys look through those, and Reggie and I are going to do the practice interview. Come here. <clears throat> now, I see that you made the honor roll. Two semesters in a row. Mm-hmm. And have you had any prior work experience? A little bit. No, say yes. You don't want to minimize your experience. OK. OK. Um, and do you have any hobbies or special interests? I love movies. I've seen just about everyone you can name. And why should I hire you? Well, let's see. I'm trustworthy. I anticipate what needs to be done. I'm energetic. And you won't find nobody more energetic than me. I told you, you're going to do great. Yeah. Now I just need some place to apply. I actually saw something that would be perfect for you. Hey, Rick, look, this, this is the Chicago Bulls. Since college games, I'm not. Yeah, Big Ten, that's it. Um, I, I am so sorry. We have been backed up all morning. Maybe I could help you just take down your information until a caseworker can get to you. Well, it, 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 it's kind of personal. Oh, oh, why don't you come over here? Can you give me a hint? It's my wife. She's president of this club. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. OK, what club? It's a fan club. She's been doing it for almost a year, and Oh, it's driving me crazy. I, she's in charge of the monthly newsletter. She coordinates local meetings, most of which take place at our house. Oh, I could see that being a problem. Yeah, and you know, I, I work nights. She works days. We barely see each other. And, and when he's on tour, she practically travels with him. Is he a singer? It's Tom Jones. I love him. Watch the window. Yes, just watch out over here, please. I got flowers of Lily Gannon. Yeah, I'll take those. Thanks. Real easy to wall over there. I want you to hit it. I want to put it on this corner. A candy machine? We get to split the profits. It'll be great. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's go.
I've had my eye on this A-frame that Nate Parsons wants to sell. Well, you know, I'd always told myself that I would see the country someday. You've been on your own for two years now. It's pretty quiet around here, honey. So, what do you think? Um, I just think it's a big change, Dad. Well, you're always after me to get some excitement into my life. Look, if you're worried about me not being around for no, you... No, that... no. That's not it. I need this calf. I want you to be on board for it. Whatever makes you happy. San Francisco Assistance Center. Good morning, Lily. It's me, Dalton. Did you like the pictures? Why can't you just arrest him? You don't have any proof you broke in. It's not against the law to take pictures. This guy has been following me all over San Francisco. He knows everything I do, where I do it, and who I do it with. I know I'd do something if I could. Morning. Hey. What's going on? Dalton Hester? You okay? How'd you like to find out someone was watching every move he made? Hey. Good news? No. I didn't get the job at the video store. They interviewed you already? I wish. He made up his mind before he even got that far. What do you mean? But when I asked okay. for an application, he said he already filled a job. So I asked why was the sign still in the window. He said, oh, I forgot to take it down. Well, that happens sometimes. I went by this morning. The sign was still there. Maybe he forgot. Look, he lied to me because he didn't want to work with any black people. How do you know that? Did he say that to you? He didn't have to. You said it was a job at that store, right? The only kids I saw in there were white. We'll do that for you. No, it's OK. I want to. Thank you. Michael seems, um, very sweet. He's a good boy. But he doesn't like square foods. And he echoes a lot. You know, sometimes autistic... Of course you know. It's okay, Miss Robinson. We have a lot of people here just like him. He's in the crafts area. I'll be back in a minute to walk you down. Whenever you like. Holidays, birthdays, anytime. And we also have support groups for family members. I'll be fine. <laughs> we try to make it feel as much like home here as possible. We know how hard it is on everyone involved. 
Okay, Mike, man. I've got to go now. Can I have a hug? Yee! Yee! Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Mikey. 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 Bye, Mikey. Goodbye, Mikey. Goodbye, Mikey. Aaron, you can take your break now. Oh, excuse me. I wanted to ask you about the sign in the window. Yeah, we're out of tickets. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's about the part-time job. Oh, yeah. What is it? Night clerk. And do I need any special skills? <laughs> what, are you kidding me? A monkey could do this job. Every movie is barcoded, so you just run them right through. Same thing with the membership cards, just like at the market. The rest is just stock of movies when people return them. Okay, well, I'm interested. Should I call you for an interview? Nah. You're hired. <laughs> just fill out an application, and I will check your references. What's the matter? You don't seem interested anymore. I just thought you might want to interview me. Well, I'm the type of guy that goes with his instincts. I think you'd fit right in here. So, why don't you fill it out, and I'll be right back. You got the job, didn't you? Reggie, what are you doing? Something I should have done last Reggie, time. you're not going to prove anything by going back in there. We can file a discrimination suit. Reggie. You sure you want to rent movies here? And this guy's a racist. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm interviewing for the job you said was filled. Reggie, don't. The same don't. job you just gave her. Who are you? Oh, you don't remember me now? What am I thinking about? We all look alike, right? Hey, what is it with you, huh? Think I'm not qualified for this job or something? North by Northwest, Hitchcock, a classic, story of mistaken identity. Pick that up now and put it back now. Justice for all, Al Pacino, Don't a must see. Don't run, Reggie. I'm warning you, I'm gonna call the cops. And what about this one, Seven Samurai by Kurosawa? Not it's about a small me. town to hire seven guys to protect itself from a group of murdering thieves. Oh, and this got subtitles too. So I guess you probably didn't see this one, right? Reggie. That's it, you little nigger. I'm gonna call the cops now. Call the cops! Call, Call the cops! I don't care! Call! Cause you're gonna have to hire a whole bunch of white kids to clean up this mess! Go ahead, Paul! Go ahead! You'll end up in jail! Where do you belong? Yeah, I need a, I need a squad car over here to modern video. Sit it down right about here. Hey, bring it down. Yeah, right here. Ready? Hey! Hey, what are you thinking? It's right in front of my window. Excuse me. I'm looking for Kathy. Uh, she should be back soon. You can grab a seat right over there. Nanda! We made $36 off the candy machine. I had to get some with drinks. Don't you think this is a little much? Relax, Rick. You're not helping me any. Nando say I can stay at his house tonight if I help him. He's got pay-per-view. Nice. him again, isn't it? He sent me an invitation, registered mail, to our wedding. This guy is not going away. You have to do something. Well, apparently, it's not against the law just to scare the hell out of someone. Oh, I feel like a bird in a cage. I can't stand it that he knows where I am all the time. Why don't you stay at my place tonight? And then what about tomorrow night, and the next night, and the next night? Why don't you talk to Rick about it? Rick has been busy. He still cares, Lily. Look, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hi. Hey. I've only got an hour break. Well, yeah. At least you're working. Hey, nice to see you, too. I'm sorry. I really, I really didn't mean that. I've just had a lousy day. Yeah, well, I've had a lousy year. So what's a big emergency? Dad's selling a house. Well, good. It's too big for him. No, I think he's making a mistake. I want you to call him and try to talk him out of it. <laughs> Mikey, listen to me. 
Well, maybe if you talked to him, he'd know how important it was to both of us. It's not important to me. I thought you'd care about the house you grew up in. Yeah, sure, like I've got lots of fond memories. Why do you hate him so much? Why do you love him so much? Because he's the one who stayed? Hey, the only reason Mom left in the first place is because he was such a hard ass. Hey, you were just a baby, what do you know? Drew, he loves you. He worries about you. Yeah, well, I'm clean now. So, what do you do around here, anyway? I'm an intern. That's great. And you were always the one on the career path. Uh, I don't suppose you could uh, toss a few bucks my way till payday? So he gets his coat, oh, he's, he rolls it up, he puts it on the guy's head, he looks at me and says, are you comfortable? The guy looks at me and says, I make a living. Oh, no, I make a living. No more. I can't let No, I know, I'm sorry. And excuse me, but when did you become such a good cook? Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, uh, actually, just eating alone gets old after a while. Oh, try Thanksgiving dinner at the hospital cafeteria. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, you win. I You're know. more pathetic. Come here. Oh, let the machine pick it up, please. Okay. Hey, this is Rick. Leave a message and I'll call you back. Rick, it's Lily. If you're there, could you pick up the phone, please? I really have to talk with you. Are you there? Lily? Really? What, what is it? Oh, are you okay? Did you call the police? Um, no, actually, I'm uh, just finishing dinner. Yeah. Sure. Sure. No, no. Um, just give me a minute. I'll be, I'll be right over. Bye. The plumbing need fixing? Her apartment was broken into. Doesn't she have another ex-boyfriend she could call? You know, I wouldn't leave if it wasn't serious. I wouldn't be here if I weren't serious. Don't worry about the dishes. It still doesn't explain how he got in here. Well, maybe he picked a lock. Now, you said that he broke into your office at the beginning of the week? Yes, this guy's intent on making my life miserable. Okay, look, lock your windows every night before you go to sleep. Double lock your front door. I'll call you as soon as I know anything, okay? All right. Okay. Are you gonna arrest him now? I put out an APB. We'll bring him in for questioning. Thank you. No problem. Lily, don't worry. Tess will get the restraining order in the morning. I can't believe this is happening. I can stay. Yeah, I mean, you know, that couch, 
has my name on it. <laughs> you don't have to do that. No, 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 no. I want to. No, you know what? Everything is fine anyway. I probably shouldn't have dragged you all the way out here. I'm here for you if you need me. Many choices. You got tuna, ham, turkey. Hey, Nanda, what is this? Come on, this Thanks. is crazy. It's starting to look like a cafeteria here. Just think of all the money we'll make. With this machine here, we're going to be able to give free flu shots this year. You must be Kathy. Yes? I'm June Brown, Reggie's mother. That store owner's pressing charges. I have worked 15 years at two jobs to make sure that boy had everything I didn't. And then you come along and fill his head with a lot of fancy ideas. Mrs. Brown, I didn't make him do what he did. You just loaded the gun by telling him the rules for you were the same for him. And he proved you wrong. It was wrong of that manager not to give him an interview. It was wrong for me to get fired for something someone else stole. And Reggie might hang out with a lot of white kids, fit in well with your group, but you live in a fairy tale. I'm sorry. I didn't know this would happen. Of course you didn't. Me está diciendo que me van a hacer algo a mi madre? Okay, dile que voy para allá. Dile que voy para allá, pero que si toca a mi madre lo voy a matar. What's wrong? have my mother. If I don't go back home, they're going to hurt her. Well, are you sure they have your mother? My people don't play around. God, I've been so selfish. My mother has made so many sacrifices for me. And now? I wanted to be free my whole life. Listen, you can't let them intimidate you. I have no choice. I cannot let them do this to my mother. Benicio, come pick me up. No, no, I need to speak to the president of the company. OK, fine, fine. You give him this message. Tell him that there is going to be a discrimination suit filed against him because of an incident that occurred yesterday at his Potrero Hill video store. Yes, I will hold. You don't think that a $1,000 phone bill every month to Wales is a problem? You're just jealous because I have something to do that's important. Cataloging ladies' panties so he can autograph them? You call that important? <gasps> I don't suppose you could get mine autographed for... Never mind, never mind. Okay, um... <clears throat> Nan, clearly, if you want this marriage to work out, you have to make room for both Philip and Tom. I know it's hard. Philip, you don't sing, do you? This is ridiculous. Well, I won't give him up. I've loved him ever since I was a little girl. But this obsession is, is a new one. It started at her father's funeral. She made them play green, green grass of home at the cemetery. Daddy loved Tom Jones. He used to play the eight track in the convertible. You miss your father, don't you? Yeah. And Tom makes you feel closer to him, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> You've seen this kind of thing before? It's not unusual. <laughs> oh, no. Look, you don't have to leave. I can get on the phone to I and S. We should be able to work this out. No, I have to go back. My mother needs me. Oye, hermano, gracias. Te toca suerte, Arturo. Y ojalá que nos vemos pronto. Glad to see you came to your senses. I hope you've been keeping in shape. You're fighting tomorrow night. Hermano, we almost did it. It isn't over yet. It's okay. 
You gave me a taste of something that everyone in my country dreams of. I'll savor it forever. Mamo, I got a van waiting outside. Come see the great Arturo Garcia fight tomorrow night. Ringside. Arturo, I just wanted to wish you good luck. It's been a pleasure. He's going to be a hundred feet away from me the rest of my life. Isn't he? How much are the repairs going to cost us? I don't know. I haven't got the estimates yet. My job. You deserve to be fired. You have no right to treat people that way. Oh, what, I should let some young punk come in there and bust up my store like a wild animal? Maybe Reggie shouldn't have reacted that way. But you treated him like he was less than human. He is a kid. And he will remember that word that you used for the rest of his life. You're the problem. Oh. <laughs> Figures you'd work in a place like this. Nando! Nando! Look, I, I don't know how much I can help. You know, I'm not really into talking about him. I understand how you feel. But why don't you just tell me a little bit about your relationship? What's there to tell, you know? I was married to the guy for a month, and he thinks he owns me. I can't do anything without him knowing about it. And this went on through your whole marriage? Yeah, and afterwards. And he just stopped harassing me about two months ago. Look, I've been divorced from the guy for four years. You know, I don't know how much my husband is going to take of this. Wait a minute. Dalton told me that you were just recently divorced. I don't know what he's told you, you know, but Dalton's really good at lying. Is he a computer software designer? <sighs> you got to be kidding me. What, what about Spain? Did the two of you meet in Spain? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I've never even been out of the country. So I guess his father isn't in the military. His father killed his mother when Dalton was five years old. Shot her right in front of him. He saw the whole thing. So one thing I know he's not making up. Man, it's me. Oh, my God. Michael. 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 Ms. Robinson. What the hell did you do to him? Your brother struck one of our nurses. So that gives you the right to just tie him down and no. drug him like he's some sort of animal? I, I can assure you we would never take these measures without permission. Well, I sure as hell didn't give it to you. But his mother did. Thanks for cleaning up last night. Mm. I hate mess. Sorry I left. I'm sorry I didn't stay. Wanna try again? Oh, man. Oh, man. You're going somewhere. I gotta go to the airport. Oh. You're not by chance sending Lily on a really long vacation. <laughs> right? Lily is out of my life. Uh, and why does it feel like she's always around?
I'm ashamed of you, Mama. They know what they were doing. They deal with people like that every day. How would you know? You haven't even been there. How dare you? Every day for 20 years, I've dressed him, fed him, taken him to the bathroom, just like he was a little baby. I did it because I love him, just like I love you. Mama, that is your excuse. You have to control everything, don't you? That's not love. You have dictated his life just like you dictated mine. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm your mother. I only wanted what was best for you. But you never asked me what I wanted. And I am not going to let you make any more decisions for him. What do you mean, let? I raised that boy. But he's my son. He is my son. Hey, hurry up. We're jacking to get my guy ready for his fight. What do you call your flaco? You look terrible out there, man. Alfredo! What's going on, man? Your friend called me, told me you were in trouble. He flew me here to get you out. Did he tell you what those pigs are doing to our mother? Lies, hermanito. They did the same thing to me when I escaped. Yeah, but they said they were gonna... Trust me, okay? Man, I haven't seen my brother in six years. I don't know what to say. Look, we gotta get you out of here now, okay? Nando's waiting in the car. And do me a favor, move a little faster than you did in the ring, okay? You got a flight to Miami in 20 minutes. You're late, honey. Dalton. What are you doing here? I can't even finish what we started. No. You were my patient, and I was your therapist. That's all that ever was. I think we're much more than that. Why do you say that? I'm not going to hurt you. I love you. There's somebody in my house. Help me! I don't understand why you're so scared. I just want to take care of you. You're the one who needs help, Dalton. Isn't it interesting? I came to you, and you're the one who needs me. <laughs> why do you say that? I know all about you. You don't have anybody either. No boyfriend, no family. Pictures. I know what that's like. We belong together. Isn't that why you married Laura? To protect her too? This isn't about Laura anymore. It's about us. I talked to Laura today. Where? At the center. She told me all about you. Oh, no, no, no. You're just trying to trick me. No, no, I'm not. I'm just... I'm trying to help you. She told me about your parents. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. No! Yes, she did. You don't know anything. Okay. You know what? I don't. So why don't you tell me? Okay. What happened that night? I can't. Yes, you can. She no. needs... She. You she. need... She... She who... Died. No! 
You she? need me. She who? Is it your mother? Why does your mom need you? <laughs> Why? Tell me. Why? Because he doesn't love her. She needs to be protected. You wanted to stop him, didn't you? You were only five, Dalton. You couldn't stop him. You were only five years old. It wasn't your fault. It's okay. Please. It's okay. Is there anyone else in the apartment, ma'am? No, no. I'm fine. All right, get down on the floor. Come on. Just be careful. Come on. Nice and slow. Come on. Honey, what's wrong? I just had a terrible day. I don't really want to talk about it. Come on in. It's freezing out. I just needed to be home. Well, your bed's not made up. I mean, I wasn't expecting it. It's okay. I'll take the couch. I've got some water on you. Want some tea? So I talked to Drew today. Oh, yeah? And how's he doing? He thinks you're doing the right thing. <laughs> That's a switch. No. Uh, milk and honey, right? Yeah. Dad? Yeah? What are you going to do with all our things? Well, you and your brother should, you know, pick out what you want. And after that, I thought I'd have a... Combination going away party garage sale, I guess. Why with the pictures? Sure. some stuff out already. I, I mean, I don't even have a turntable anymore. They weren't yours. Sweetheart. I used to listen to them all the time. I, I, I didn't know. Why are you doing this? Why are you leaving this house? Because it's time. No, it's not. Maybe you're ready to give up, but I am not. Giving up what? <laughs> if you sell this house, then how is mom going to know where I am? Oh, Calf. How oh. will she be able to find me? Oh, Calf. How will she know where I am? She's not coming back. No. <laughs> broke in again. What happened? It's over now. The, the police took him away. Good. Good. Can I just stay here with you tonight? Rick? Oh, God. Lily, well, wait. Leave me alone. No, I won't. What? I can't do this anymore. What? You can't have it both ways. You know, what'd you expect? You know, you've been telling me for months and months that it's over. And now that I finally believe it, you know, what, what is this? Are you, are you changing your mind? No. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, Rick. It's too late. I can't do this to her. Or myself. I just needed someone. I know. 
I'm sorry. I can't. Saturday Night Trilogy is